Welcome to the channel everybody. I'm Bundy aka Bundy Games and in today's video we are back with another how to get free Game Pass Ultimate with the Microsoft Rewards Program. Now as usual I'm going to go through my daily routine of how we utilize the uh, Microsoft Rewards and the Game Pass Quest to get a minimum of 12,000 points. Now, I usually go for the maximum because not only do I use these points to get the free Game Pass Ultimate, but on occasion, I'll get me a gift card to either get games or movies or anything else like that. So that is another option to you guys as well. So as you can see here, this is my monthly quest. We're one, only one thing away from getting that. So we got the 22 daily quests and we needed to get 12 weekly and we have 11 of the 12. So that means tomorrow when we complete this weekly quest that we have up here, complete three daily that's going to give us this additional 500 points. So keep in mind when I get to the end of this video where I show my total points, tomorrow we're going to be able to add an additional 500 points on top of that. Okay, this this came out today. I went ahead and did this. It takes a little bit of time, not too much time. All you have to do is, is do 20 laps in uh, this game F1. This one here was pretty easy as well. You either have to get three achievements or play three different Game Pass games. This is the daily achievement that you have to get. Now, last month, this was formally uh, achieve more, earn more. And the only difference in the two is that the way they have it now, you have to have uh game pass in order to to, to get these because other than that it's locked so you wouldn't be able to get these 50 points every day previously all you had to do was play any game earn an achievement and then boom you got the 50 points so that's a change that has happened and it's not really a big deal um other than the fact like i said you have to have game pass in order to get these points but for me since i do have game pass the biggest change is meant for me is that now i have to wait um for the reset time which for me is 12 o'clock noon so i have to wait until afternoon to uh earn these points which previously i used to get them as early as i could sometime i did it um you know as soon as i woke up in the morning but anyway, to keep going, play any Game Pass game, we did that. And then uh, play Hi-Fi Rush. So these are all the, uh, the quests that we got for today. All these other ones is from the previous week. So as you can see, so far I've gotten everything. I'm not going to tally this up now. I usually do that at the end of the month. So as you can see, all these points are what we have thus far. Okay. So let's jump into the rewards app. All right. Now, the weekly treasure, I usually get that as soon as it pops up because... I believe at one time I was saving it for the next day so I can show it on video and it wasn't there. So as soon as this thing pops up, I claim it. We got our monthly. That was 2,000 points here for the month of May. We had to um, launch the rewards after seven days. We had to do Bing searches for five days. We had to complete two weekly sets and then we claimed it so we got that done i believe last week and this here 
this is a monthly quest as well you have one two three five games to choose from where you had to get three achievements in any one of these games now I tried <laughs> to get this uh, this punch card in Madden 23 and for whatever reason it didn't work and I saw online that other people were having trouble with that as well now in the past I've seen with these EA Sports games um, if you use the series S and X version it may not count because they I guess they coded for the um, Xbox One games because they figure anybody who has Xbox can access that but if they they code it for the series S and X only those people would be able to get it so I don't know if that's the reason or not but I end up having to use Forza Horizon 5 because that's the game that I play on a regular basis but I usually leave achievements there just in case one of these pops up or if I, I need to get a quick achievement you know when I'm running short on time so I utilize Forza Horizon 5 to get these points now one thing that you can do if you're not sure if, the, if they're working if this comes up again or if you haven't gotten these yet because you still have 16 days to go say for instance you play um, uh, Gang Beast you get an achievement you come back and look on here if it's, it still says zero of three that mean it didn't count that's the way I tested it out on Forza Horizon it showed I got one achievement it showed one of three so that told me it was working so just a, a quick tip there so we got our 500 points on that now this is new uh, we're on a 102 week streak So we're going to go ahead and claim what we can. So we got two of them that we can claim already. This 10 points. And all you got to do is click on it. Again, guys, this is a very easy and quick way to get these points. All you need is 12,000 for the month. We're going to claim this as well because we got 200 already. So you see we got the two check marks here and we have to wait two more days we have to launch this rewards app two additional times so tomorrow and the day after that we're able to claim this 50 points here okay so we covered that we covered this now this here is 50 points but in order to get it you have to buy um, I forget what you got to buy some type of points or something in Apex Legends I don't play the game so there's no way see says something here about adding pieces to your wardrobe buy the Arsenal Battle Pass so you buy the Battle Pass you get the points we're not doing that because all we're all about getting it for free you click on this thing here and um, watch this YouTube video you get five points there Minecraft all you got to do is click on it and then you get the five points there similar to what we're going to do for Ori and the Will of the Wisps so we're going to click on that and all you got to do now is back and see we got the five points for that now I did my mobile search already so we got a hundred points there it says PC search but you can do this on Xbox which is what I'm doing right now and this is the quick way we go about doing that so I usually focus on these little items here click on it back out click on it back out you don't have to read any of these things unless you see something that catch your attention that you do want to read then I come down here Oh, Martha Stewart is on the cover of Sports Illustrated in a swimsuit, believe it or not. She's 80, 81, I believe. Jamie Foxx is still in the hospital, I believe.
and then what I normally do is choose and yeah, let's not do that I choose one of these here and I get to their portrait and we just continue doing that as long as you see the plus five in the upper right hand corner you know you're still getting points and again the focus is just to do these every day as quickly as possible for the people who said they don't have time it doesn't take much time to do this so we should be good on that let's go back home then we'll come up here and do these okay let's back out we got our 10 points for that the daily poll usually the top answer is the answer that everybody chose what a majority I should say back out there now we got a quiz for 30 points now keep in mind again you do not have to get these answers correctly you will get the 30 points regardless there are three questions that's 10 points there so just do the same thing click on all of them until you get five green you don't have to read the questions unless you want to test yourself it's all up to you and there we go we got our 30 points exit quiz go back home we got our 30 points we reset reset again reset again and go back to the rewards app all right now we're going to jump in to the edge bonus so we get 20 points there they're five points each so that means we'll have to do four all you have to do is choose four of these trending topics as you can see we got the five points there got the five points again so it's number three five points again and number four there we go I usually do just one more just for the fun of it it didn't turn so that just signifies the fact that we got our four now we're gonna jump to the rewards dashboard and we should have more points there this was also a quest for the month I believe it was hundred and fifty points it took us four days to do that so we got that the very first week do you know the answer we don't even have to answer that question we got the points for it this is the quiz right here but like I said you don't even have to worry about that because we got the points now we go back to the dashboard and I put it as one of my favorites because if you hit the back button it'll knock you out and you'll have to uh, log back in so that's the reason why and I've said this before that's why I put on the favorites it makes it a whole lot easier and quicker all right so we have one two three four five five more of these things all we gotta do is click on it okay guys I'm just gonna jump straight to it I'm gonna show here that we did get credit for everything that we clicked on We got all our points, we got check marks on everything. But there was an issue apparently with the link because every time I clicked on one of these, it froze the app or froze the page. So it did give me credit every time I came back. I did have credit for them, but it just for whatever reason, um, you know, sometimes they do have issues with these pages. 
uh, you just have to be patient and uh, close it up get back in and make sure you got your check marks and that's what I did so let's jump straight to the total and see where we ended up for 16 days and not too bad we're looking at 14,632 and as I said before you only need 12,000 points to get the free game pass ultimate so we are well above that and we still have half a month to go so we're gonna be looking good by the end of the month don't know if we're gonna break any records or not but we're definitely looking strong for it we're um you know halfway there I believe my highest was 28,000 and some odd points so we're already halfway there I mean who knows what's gonna happen in the next two weeks we got two more Tuesdays so that's going to give us an additional um, 500 points. Well, providing that we get the 250 uh, for those two Tuesdays. And then we got that 500 point coming up as well. So who knows? Maybe we'll, we'll get pretty close to that record. But again, this is where we're looking after 16 days. Today is May 16th. And uh, we're looking at 14,632. So... Uh, yeah guys hopefully you you guys are still keeping up doing your your due diligence to try and get as many points as you can just keep in mind as I always say you don't have to do everything i try to maximize my points as much as i can i will even not do certain things uh if it's something that's out of my comfort zone like uh something that's going to take way too much time like something on multiplayer i i will not do it Unless I find a really uh, good and easy guide that'll show me a, a, a good way to do that. But other than that, no. So you don't have to do everything. The only thing I say is to have a daily routine where you do certain things. And if you do that, you can definitely get at least the 12,000 points that you need for the free game pass. So that's going to do it for now. I will see you guys at the end of the, the month. And uh, hopefully you keep checking in. Thanks for watching.